Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not some moon or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. We'll pull oracles at the end, give you some more guidance for the week. Otherwise, here we go. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate the patience in advance. Saw that Empress heavy in your pre-shuffle. It was very determined to come out. So your first card out is the Empress. That is your energy as well as Libra energy. We have the Page of Cups. Pisces energy could be important to you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Air, uh, Earth sign energy. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. So some of you are mamas, parents, to boys specifically. Some of you. And maybe one teenager. We also have the Ace of Cups. That's just a side note. We have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords was also in your pre-shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we are looking at the Two of Pentacles. So, decisions, decisions, decisions. Yeah, I do feel like this is a decision that you're going to have to coming up making here. You're going to have to make coming up. That's what I meant to say. Two of Pentacles could also be some sort of cycle, some sort of um, repetitive cycle. Also could be someone with a lot on their hands, which could be you, especially if you got multiples. Some of you got three boys, you know, maybe even twins, a teenager, and two younger ones. That's just a side note. Male or female, does not matter. But you got a lot going on. You know, there's something that is uh, getting ready to be birthed here, whether it may be actually, or if this could be a project. But someone is viewing you as very, I mean, capable. To, see, to say the least. They see you as very capable. They see you as a showstopper. There's nothing you cannot do. Everything you do, you are a success in. Whether that is the truth or not, whether you see yourself that way, it does seem like someone perceives you that way. Even if it's just your kids. Even if it's just your kids, they do see you in a very high regard. That's also a side note. Empress's mother energy. Male or female, it does not matter. Very nurturing energy, caring energy, takes care of everybody. And still looks good while doing it. You got the Knight of Wands. It does look like someone is heading in your direction. Could be a younger person for some of you. If this is romantic. Because I do see cups and hearts and you know. But it also gives me a vibe that uh, somebody wants to move in your direction. Someone that might be... That could be what the indecision is about. Because this person is a very free spirit. Whoever it is that you're dealing with here. A very free spirit. Someone that goes kind of where the wind blows them, right? Where, where the excitement is. Good, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. But for an empress, uh, yeah, been there, done that, right? The Page of Cups, it does seem like there is a reaching out. Also could be apology, maybe, because I do see the Three of Swords here. So, um, yeah, there's a sense of admiration. Someone that admires you a lot. The Page of Pentacles is telling me that this person admires you a lot. There's a speed here. That could be what the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords are about. Air sign energy with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a speed here that someone wants to move towards you in. And there's there they want to offer you some sort of a emotional thing. The Ace of Cups, which is like the happiest thing. Love, renewal. Some of you, it's someone you've already dealt with. Maybe a cycle that continues over and over again. Or this could just be indecision. You will be indecisive with when this person approaches you. Because there could be a fear of heartbreak. Because with the Three of Swords being in the future, I don't think this heartbreak has happened yet. I think this is more so a fear of yours. That's why there's indecision. Because this person's vibe is giving you, oh, uh, you could do damage. For some of you, it's a new person. With all this page energy, this is someone completely new, brand new. Very adventurous person, very exciting person. They see you as, you know, top tier. But there is a sort of, should I or shouldn't I? Should I do this? This could end very badly. Should I go for it? Because I do think you're excited. I do think you have curiosity towards them as well. But there is a fear of, I might end up effed up. Either way, there's a conversation coming. The Knight of Swords does tell me this person has something to say to you. And they're moving in your direction either way. The Knight of Wands is coming towards you. The Knight of Swords is coming towards you. For some of you, it's multiple people. For some of you, it's the same person. There's a definite eagerness, a speed, an excitement. Like, they can't wait. They cannot wait for you to say the word. It's like a bat out of hell. It's like horse racing. You let them out and they're like, gone. 
you tell this person yes and tss, yeah that's all they need is a yes but you might take a little while to give them a yes some of you won't give them a yes at all we have the six of cups four of cups queen of pentacles nine of cups the strength card some of you this is someone that you are going to feel connected to there is going to be a sense of connection here and for a lot of you this person's going to bring a very fun playful sort of side out of you maybe that's what you need because i do see the four of cups here so whether that is you or this person the four of cups is a sense of boredom this you know every day is the same type of vibe but this is also someone that is not seeing an opportunity that is right in front of them. For a lot of you, that you are the Four of Cups, Empress Four of Cups. I mean, you're absolutely happy with everything you have and everyone you have in your life, but you could use a little spice is the vibe that I'm getting. You could use a little spice. It does look like you need some spice, especially for those of you that are parents. Your whole life is probably revolved around taking care of people. So this is probably the spice that you're needing that the universe is giving you here because I do get it. It is a new connection, but there is that sort of is this gonna hurt me in the long run and this person is a soulmate they bring a very fun playful they, they they give you they give you a genuine joy that's also what the ace of cups is about just being so happy being filled being you know seen feeling really feeling but good things positive things because it does look like you need some spice okay taking care of people too much does look like you need some spice you need to spice up your life we also have the emperor here. So this person could absolutely be mature, but they just have a very playful side to them that maybe needs to be brought out of you. I do think that's probably the phase of life that you're heading into now. Spent a lot of time focusing on other people, taking care of other people, whether you're a mother or a father. You're very nurturing. Coming up as the empress and the queen of pentacles. Could be the other earth sign. Have earth in your chart. It does look like whoever's coming towards you, they're absolutely your match. You may need strength to sort of to go for this leo energy to get out of your comfort zone because it does look like you're in your comfort zone the nine of cups here and the strength card tells me you're very content with your life you're very fulfilled but it does look like there is a bit of boredom you get bored let's be honest and i do get this person that is coming to your life it's not that they're immature at all but they do have a very playful side to them even though they're the emperor that's your match that's your match. That's absolutely your match. Guidance. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at underneath. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Yeah, I told you. Some of y'all need to, you know, get out the house. Mm-hmm. You need, you need your own life. That's what the Four of Cups is about. You need your own life. Your life is completely solely based on your family people that you are related to your children some of you got a lot of kids that's okay i got a lot of kids too but you were yourself before you were mother father all that type of thing right you were you so we need to attend to that pre-existing condition the in condition before parenthood we need to tend to that more so that we feel feel fulfilled that's also what the ace of cups is about a sense of fulfillment having a little bit of everything you know guidance for Taurus, Aries energy could also be important to you, but this person's definitely able to, um, they're your match. It's very much your match. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. There you go. See? And as I was saying that you're matched, the scales come out. So this is absolutely something and someone that is meant to balance you and the quality of life that you're currently having. Because it does seem like you need a little spice, a little bland, a little occasion sauce in there or something. Because it does look like it's becoming mundane. And uh, there is a potential to miss this opportunity. Because it does seem like this person's meant to be someone significant to you with that six of cups there. They could also have kids. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom number 67. So it's saying you are very seasoned. <laughs> you're so seasoned that you're blind. If that makes any sense to you. Because the empress, you know, that's all the queens. Same with the emperor. That's all the kings. That's someone that's been through many cycles of life. They've mastered all aspects of themselves. But it's like you're not teachable. The pages here, that is what it's signifying. It's saying it's time to be, be become the student again. It's time to try something different. It's time to go on a new path. It's time to channel another aspect of yourself. Not because you've mastered yourself, you stop learning. Or stop, you know. It doesn't just stop. 
because there is a sense of uh, repetitiveness that you will get into if you kind of just don't open yourself to, you know, live a little. You got to live a little. Stop always thinking that it's going to, you know, you might be too seasoned. You maybe know too much. You need to go back to this less seasoned version of yourself where you're open to doing new things and learning and all that type of stuff. Because technically you have all the suits here. You have the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Knight, and Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. So this is saying there's some, there's more to learn. There's more there's more to it. We, we know you're good. We know you're accomplished. We know you got it all figured out, but you really don't. Because you're still alive, right? You're not dead yet. So the fact that you're not dead, that means there's still living to do. Some of you may definitely end up married to somebody here. Because the Emperor and the Empress is like ultimate match. Ultimate match. This is like, the, this is like oh my god. Say yes. Just say yes. <coughs> Excuse me. I need water. I'm all choked up. Say yes. There you go. Say yes. As we're speaking of engagement, say yes. Technically, the Empress is a wife. Or a husband, you know, and the Emperor is a husband. So you might be the Queen of Pentacles type of energy right now. Not really open to anybody. Very much just taking care of the home. That type of vibe. But the Empress is... That thing you thought you never knew you needed. You know? It's like it's like the connection you never knew you needed. The status or, or lifestyle style change you never knew you needed. Your best is more than enough, I promise. So, this is for those of you that are afraid of failure. You allow failure to be a big factor in uh, the way you live your life. It's time to stop that. It's time to do something different. It's time to... See, because this is also the Empress, coincidentally. This is also the Empress. Yeah, there's more to life. There's more for you to learn. There's more, there's more, there's more sauce. Okay, that is your reading, Taurus. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.